Hey coach, I uh, hope you're enjoying the video. Make sure you subscribe and like. We love those. Also go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. If you want to become a better coach in a less than a dollar a day, you can, you can do that. My mentor, my personal email address, I will help you become a better basketball coach. Go over and check it out. Let's head back to the video. Hi, right, well, welcome to Coaching Youth Hoops. Welcome back, coach. Welcome back. Hour 75 of Coach and I doing podcasts, you know, so. Hey, by the way, uh, you know, one thing we haven't mentioned is uh, the number of podcasts we've done. We we hit a milestone. Did we hit a milestone? And... We're over 100, Coach. Wow. Pat yourself on the back on that one. Are you going to come back to Wisconsin so we go have coffee again? And we got to go. Oh, my gosh. Absolutely. Next... Well, I definitely will be there in october because okay. uh, i have a cousin getting married so oh coming back be for good. sure for then uh for that but maybe probably i think we got to run a cl again this we is we got to run a clinic script we got to run a clinic and i'm coming to you yeah <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> i mean we can one run here but i'm coming to you we're coming i'm going to california <laughs> anyway um what like february march march right? <laughs> when i'm retired yes I gotta get nice and cold, I gotta yeah. get James to do one in um in San Diego. That's what I gotta do. Oh, That's yeah, my next one. Well, you can do both, right? Northern yeah. and Southern Hustle California. And Hawaii coming up mm. in end of June. I might be doing a cl big a clinic in um Oahu. Is that the one with Honolulu? Oahu is Honolulu, I think. Right? I think so. Anyway, I got asked to do one in Alaska, and I'm like, I'll wait to the thaw. <laughs> Did you really? I'll go with you. Uh, Let's go. Uh, I want to go to Alaska. Yeah, I want to go to Alaska. Been, but yeah, I got to wait. I got some connections in Alaska. We'll talk. I got some connections. Okay. We could maybe do something in Alaska. Um, got to go in the summer, though. Um, mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to talk about what you should be teaching at the younger levels, like first, second, third grade. Yeah, it's been a bit, a oh, lot of questions that, about coach. That. Before yeah. we do that, we cannot forget. I got yeah, one. Uh, I'm going to take yeah, my our, our, Starbucks. Yes. Yeah, our sponsor, uh, Game Changer. Um, you know, it's it's you know we appreciate uh, them sponsoring this podcast and uh, helping out youth coaches by keeping this content uh, free. Uh, but if you go to gc.com forward slash coaching youth hoops, go check it out. It's a free app, uh, and it has uh, you can. You can do stats, which I love, data, feedback, right? Um, live game streaming. So if you have a relative, a parent that can't be at the game, they can see the game live. They can see the stats coming in live. They can watch the video live, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, and it's really a, it's a really a coach's aid for the youth, youth coaches. It's I, I love it. I use it. Um, big fan. My, not only that, my parents love it, which I thought it was going to be like, oh, you want me to keep stats? They're like, I'll keep stats. You're lining up to keep stats now because one, it's pretty simple to use. They were a little, you know, they were a little worried that, oh, I'm, I'm not a basketball coach, so I can't keep stats. It's like really just click of a button. Somebody scores, click of a button, turnover, somebody scores, rebounds, you know, it's just click, click, click. So uh, it's pretty, it's, um makes it just super simple to keep stats so coach coaches go check that out it's free uh and uh, you know use it with your third grade up to your eighth grade team and even in the high school it works uh, just beautifully gc.com forward slash coaching youth hoops all right so we're gonna talk today about teaching <laughs> at the younger levels yeah, um, and what to teach and when right. to teach. And, you know, this has come up quite often. There was a discussion, again, in a Facebook group. And uh, this particular coach, who was a second and third grade coach, was wondering, do I run plays at this youth club? Do I have an inbound play, an offense? What do I do, right? Um, they have 90-minute practices. And we wanted to bring this topic up because in some sort of fashion, it always – it 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 it's um it comes up and while we're before we get started i i created this ebook maybe to help as well what to teach when basically and if you go to coachingyouthhoops.com forward slash basketball dash 
development dash by dash age. That's a big one. Sorry, coach. Jeez. Basketball oh development God. by age with the dash in between. Okay. Those okay, of you that are listening are seeing Coach Collins rub his eyes and go, oh my God. Okay. So well, you're gonna give me that URL and I will put yeah, it. Yeah, we'll the- put it in the show notes. Absolutely. Yeah. But it don't, don't stop you know, the treadmill. Don't stop the car. That's a long yeah, one okay. to write down. Yeah. Coach has but it's basketball we, development by we age. We need to come up with we need to come up with a um uh an app that that shortens that isn't there URL. something that shortens the URL? oh yeah yeah it's a short url all right <laughs> i'm teasing I, well i should have I'm just teasing. come up with a shorter url too <laughs> now that i say that when i speak it out loud it's a long one but you know what it does though that if you go download that ebook it, it there's some science behind you know again what a a young person can learn based on their age, right? What's the cognitive development of a, you know, coach, you know this, right? What can you teach a third grader versus what you can teach an eighth grader? Um, And, you know, it's not that they, you know, it's not that they don't want to learn these things. It's like their brain isn't developed in the, in the, you know, making those connections and seeing the space in their head of how things go. It's just not there yet. And we have to be wary of that when we're teaching basketball plays and drills and everything else that we want these kids to do their motor skills as well. Can they do a Euro step in the third grade, right? Um, it Should you be teaching that, um, that young of age? And again, coaches, there's always exceptions. You always had that phenom. I have a third grade girl right now two of them that are you know well beyond their years of <laughs> where they should be um you know but you know the majority of the kids aren't aren't, aren't like that they're exceptions to the rule right so and, and you need some basic things in so mm-hmm. i think the i think the initial text the initial thing that we were talking about is um you know with a 90 minute practice before we but before i dive into this and say some of the things i think he should teach let's give a big shout out to game changer again thank you thank you thank you for sponsoring us um it is it's great i mean it's one stop shop for everything as far as video and statistics all that stuff give them the url this is a better url people as i'm teasing coach bill <laughs> gc.com <laughs> forward slash coaching youth hoops yeah, gc.com forward slash coaching youth hoops better url but anyway uh <laughs> the um the uh the i think the coach that was asking was asking about the specific you know what what can yeah. you do and what should you do and the thing is i think at those younger levels absolutely in the in the thing it was have fun do fundamentals you know make it engaging all those kind of things you need some basic things in you need a basic offense you need probably a basic man-to-man defense you need probably an out-of-bounds play which can be as simple as a stack Mm -hmm. um you need a maybe hopefully no one's pressing you at that age but probably hopefully a press or something like that um that uh press break yeah press break or press hopefully they're not pressing. hopefully they're not pressing you but i mean those kind of things it's like you need the bare minimum so they're comp semi semi competent out there i don't i don't don't know what do you think about at that age yeah Yeah, you know i had a um i was this is several years ago and my son was when i was coaching my son he uh third grade um they were really their basketball iq is pretty decent so we ran specific plays um, we had a five out offense, but we ran specific plays in addition to that, some quick hitters. And they picked that up really quickly. So you got to feel it out by your team. But definitely some basic at the third grade level, it's just some basic movements, defense, just as you said. And I think this is the big thing. And I had been uh, hear this as well quite a bit is they're going to get it wrong. And it's okay. They're learning, right? Um, just the repetition will will help, but you got to keep it pretty simple for them um, to execute on. Um, but it's okay to have a few things because you you have to. They have to know how to work with each other. And if you go back a few podcasts, we talked about spacing and learning. You know, spacing concepts is is, is important. Uh, 
So I don't think there's anything wrong with teaching them. If you have a 90 minute practice, that's actually a decent amount of time for that age group. And you, you right. know, 45 plus minutes of that should be skills. Right. And <laughs> or then, fun. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a, 90, skills, minute, right? a yeah. 90 minute practice for, for second graders is a long practice. It's a long, yeah. It's a long you're be practice. pulling your hair out at that point. Right. So. <laughs> Uh, hopefully you have an assistant that can you know do they some breakdown help. drills with you yeah they can help or someone's well. gonna but twist yeah. your ankle or a lot of water breaks or yeah. you know um yeah it's all it, i think I, I think you do need to have some of those basic 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 stuff basic yeah. stuff in um and 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 then just keep keep repeating it because they're going to forget it from week to week or depending on how mm -hmm. many practices you have um I think that's going to, yeah, I think that's going to be a big part of it, I think. And I think it's the way you have to teach it as well, right? Break it down into small pieces, break it down into, you know, small, if you have, you know, whatever, 10, 12 players on your team, if you have the luxury of having another assistant coach, you know, split the team up, um, you know, multiple hoops, just to, whatever you're teaching to break it, whatever play you're teaching or you have your inbound play, your offense, just break it down into small pieces, less people on the court. Start with, you know, no defense, then add defense, um, you know, add less defense than you have on offense, right? Just so they get some movement and movement going. Yeah, right. I think that, I think you can do it. I think go so. Go check out that development book too. Again, give basketball. That, give that crazy long URL. URL. We'll put it in the show notes. Basketball de basketball dash development dash by dash age. Basketball development by age with dashes in between each word at coachingyouthhoops.com. I'll put it in. I, you, coach is going to take care of that for me and put it in the, in the URL. Um, anything else, Coach? No. Uh, right. Just, you know, if you uh, have a moment, go check out Game Changers free app. I, I tell you, you will love it as a coach to just to get some data uh, on your um and have grandma watch it when she's not at the yeah. when she's not at the game we want to keep grandma happy so yeah gc.com forward slash coaching youth hoops all right thanks for watching coach make sure you go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better make sure you subscribe so you get notified every time we come back on but you will not be disappointed with teachhoops.com 14 day free trial let's go check it out have a great day